Are your figures working on something big? Then you might need scaffolding. Hey everybody, it's Adrian from Zanzas Toys, back with another bit of 118 scale fun. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about this scaffolding system that I designed. Just the thing to add a little bit of extra realism to your street scenes, or if maybe your figures need a way to sneak in to upper story of a building, this might be just what you need. So it went together pretty easily. It was actually a pretty simple thing to design. Most of the, the hard work came in not so much getting it to look like scaffolding, because that's pretty was pretty easy, but making sure all of the dimensions were in line with the system I'm working on for 118 scale dioramas. So as I mentioned before on this channel, I'm working towards a Kickstarter of 3D printable modular diorama pieces for 118 scale action figures. And while there's a lot I want to do with that system, I'm starting with sort of a typical brick building in an urban setting and everything that goes along with that. So it was really important to make this not only look like scaffolding, but and be playable so figures can actually stand on it and climb it and etc. But it also needed to fit with the dimensions of my system, which is a 60 by 60 millimeter square as the fundamental unit. So I made sure that the width was 140 millimeters for 60, 60, a 10 millimeter gap in the middle, which uh, I won't go into the details in this video, but in upcoming videos, I'll, I'll show more about how the parts fit together. Upshot, though, is the, the fundamental width needed to be 140 millimeters, and the height is 130, and a bunch of other dimensions that kind of shook out of making sure this fits with the system. So let's have a look at the parts. So the main part is the scaffolding cross-section that you'll need at least two of. So we've got two of those here. Then there's four of these cross braces, which we'll snap together in just a minute. So I've got four of those. There's also this foot piece, the bottom stage of the scaffolding. So I've got four of those here. And then if you want multiple levels of scaffolding, you'll also need these little joiner pieces. Everything prints without supports, and it goes together, uh, prints pretty quick. So everything's, you see here is about an hour of print time, which isn't bad at all. And then there's also the board. These are made so that they fit together. So they interlock like so. So if you want a continuous run of scaffolding, you can just print more. So let's look at how it all snaps together. The main scaffolding thing, piece, uh, <laughs> probably somebody out there uh, knows the specific term for this piece of scaffolding, but uh, I don't. So you'll notice that there are some pegs on either side. So what I'm gonna do is just take this and snap it in like that. I'll do the same thing down here. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side. And you'll notice there's a lot of extra room here in the peg, and that's so you can you can have two of these join on either side if you want. So if I wanted to, I could snap this in over here and have uh, a continuous run of scaffolding horizontally. But for this demo, I'm, I'm going to concentrate on building up vertically instead. So I'll just have one. And I know this looks like spaghetti or a spider's web or whatnot, but uh, it gets pretty stable once it's all, all hooked together. So now I'll get the other side of the scaffolding and do the same thing. So I'm just going to clip it in. and clip it in, making sure the two pieces cross each other. So, no big deal if, if you get that wrong, just unsnap it. So I'll do that here, and then over here. Okay, and you'll notice this is, it can kind of bend a bit, so you'll have to kind of work it a little bit to get it upright, but once you do, it's pretty stable. So. If this is going to be my bottom scaffolding, I'll want to put feet on the bottom. So I'll get my four feet pieces, these little guys, and just snap them in. I'll snap those in, like so.
Okay, there we go. So now I've got that, and if I grab one of the board pieces and clip it in, clip it on rather, to either side, now I've got a finished piece of scaffolding. Okay, so that's, that's all well and good if you just want one level of scaffolding, but let's say we want a second. So I'm gonna take the boards off for now, and I'm gonna get these little joiner pieces and just snap one onto each of these four uprights. So, yes. Okay, so now we've got holes where we can insert the bottom of another put together piece of scaffolding. So let's do that. Okay. So now we've got a second, a two story, two level piece of scaffolding. So that's pretty much it. You can keep going if you want. I've gone at least three or four levels and it's uh, pretty sturdy. So it, it's flimsy, fairly flimsy until you get the boards added. But once you do that, it's pretty, Quite robust. You can kind of hang figures off the side if you want. I have somebody climb and it's still stable. There's one other piece though, so let, let's get another two part bit of scaffolding and I'll put some boards on it so you can see the. So let's say you want your scaffolding to join at an angle around the corner of the building. So for that, I have these parts, or this part, which is a little 45 degree angle. So this snaps right on top. It rests on top of the, the main horizontal boards and can clip to the scaffolding just like they do. And then you get a nice 45 degree angle. While I was at it, I was also thinking about what fun accessories might make sense to kind of go with scaffolding. And what I came up with was a paint bucket. So here's a paint bucket. It's got uh, a movable handle. It has a lid that comes off. So you can put stuff inside if you want. And I've also made two additional parts that really you'd want to paint, print in a different color, but I've just painted them here. A little paint splash that clips on the side. And down in there, there's a little cylinder that fits just right inside there. So if you print that and the splash in a different color filament, you'll get kind of a nice suggestion of paint inside an open can. That's about it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you want to see more content like this, or if you just want to get updates on the modular diorama system I'm working on, please be sure to, to subscribe and hit that bell. If there's something you'd like to see as part of the system, please be sure to leave a comment. Thanks again. See you in the next video.